Hello everyone, Akash here. Is it okay to lie in a relationship? People lie in a relationship for many reasons. Protect their ego, also protect their image, also to avoid conflict. Also, some people lie to avoid hurting their partner's feelings. Especially if you are making a habit of lying, that won't be good for your relationship. It can destroy it. In a perfect world, you and your partner would be super honest to each other about everything. But in reality, you both probably forge the truth little here and there. You know, on some level, lying in a relationship is normal. Give you an example. You bought a new outfit and when your partner asked you how much you paid for it and you said less than what you paid for it, sometimes it's necessary to lie to avoid hurting your partner's feelings. Lying is a quite common in a relationship, but it all depends on the lie and why you are telling it. Don't get freaked out about the idea that lying is common in relationship. It is important for you to know that white lies happen fairly often in relationship, but the bigger lies aren't as common. But of course, being able to trust your partner, vice versa, is very important. Without trust, a relationship cannot grow in a healthy manner. So let's go through a few things you need to know about lying in a relationship and how it can impact bonding with your partner. Also, what should you do if lying is an issue in your love life? Like I said, before a little bit of white lies here and there doesn't make you a terrible person but if you keep telling your partner lies it doesn't matter you think those lies harmless or not your partner may not trust you more lies you tell the more you crack the foundation and the basis of a relationship that's mean your partner will share less and have less empathy and compassion for you but other hand you don't have to be an open book basically you don't have to tell your partner everything all the time maybe you don't want to talk about an embarrassing moment once you had, that's totally fine. How often you use social media platform when your partner isn't around and you most likely don't talk about to your partner. So not wanting to talk about, it isn't the same as lying. But you forgot to tell your partner that your ex recently slid into your DMs. That isn't the same as browsing on social media platform. You're probably thinking how and when to admit a lie. Well, you can wait to be called out by your partner or you can put on your big boy's pant and get real with them. Taking responsibility for yourself is an important element of empathy and self-reflection. So if you get into a situation that your partner found out, you chit chat with your ex in a party it will be best for you to use the I word. You could say to your partner, I wasn't honest with you. I was hanging out with my friends and my ex was there and we caught up but nothing happened. Sorry, I should have been upfront with you. But don't say like, I lied about it to you because you are irrational about these stuff. That's kind of like gaslighting to make things worse. So if you get into situation, you kept a lie a secret and your partner asks you if you lied, it will be best for you to apologize and tell the truth. Otherwise, you most like to tell more lies to try to cover it up and that won't end well. So it's very important when you do admit the truth, talk about how your lie made them feel and what can you do to make things better. Because when trust has been damaged, it's very important to talk to your partner to understand how exactly to improve your relationship. After you own up to your lie, you need to keep providing to your partner that you can be trusted, but it's not going to happen overnight. Trust only going to form when your word matches your behavior over time. Even a small inconsistency will undermine trust. So basically consistency must be evidence in everything. Also, if your partner lies to you, choosing to forgive a lie is up to you. You're under zero obligation to forgive them right away on their timeline or even at all. It is okay to ask for time to process it and take it in. By doing that, you will have more measured response to their admission of lying and most likely to encourage your partner to come clean in the future or not lie in the first place. But if your partner doesn't take responsibility to their lie, you have to call them out on it. The liar need to take genuine responsibility and not the nonsensical approach. Like I lied because of you. That's not taking ownership. It's also fine to share your feelings in the moment with something like thanks for apology. I do feel hurt and it will take some time for me to build up the trust again. It is very important for you to double down at the moment on your need for honesty in the future. And of course, there are some lies that you might not be okay with. Not all lies created equal. Some lies may end up being unforgivable, but only you know that. Hope this video was helpful to you. Many good videos you'll find in my channel. Consider subscribe to my channel. Take care.